Hello, I'm Pat Goodacre and I wrote a poem which you'll find on the YouTube video channel. It's called The Path I Tread and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it because there's a bit of history there. In 2014, you may remember, Creative Scotland named Peebles as the most creative town of its size. And we got an award, actually quite a big award, and it was, it, it, it led to a whole year of wonderful creativity, all kinds of things happening. And the Eastgate Theatre was, of course, very instrumental as part of this. The first thing I knew about it was that um, there was an advertisement in the Eastgate programme which uh, offered uh, a, a, a creative writing competition and the subject was peoples, to write peoples into existence, which really excited me. It was very much what I'd been thinking about and as a newcomer to peoples. I'd been getting really interested in, in the history of the place and so I wrote a poem and I submitted it quite quickly actually because we were going on holiday. We came back, uh, I'd forgotten about it, we got, an, in, we got a, um, an invitation to the award giving ceremony which I thought oh that, that's nice, that's, that's polite and when I got there I'd won which was absolutely astonishing uh, and a little bit scary because I had to read the poem out which I wasn't prepared for and the award was given by Jackie Kay in my mother. Oh wow! <laughs> so um, it, it really made me take my writing more seriously. It actually had quite an effect on me. So cut to the present, what strikes me is that Peoples is once again <laughs> really showing its colours as a very creative place. Nobody's given an award for it, I wish, I wish they would, but we are producing such amazing things. It's, it's a great celebration of who we are and what we can do. Um, and things were going out on the YouTube videos. I had the idea that I could actually recycle the poem. So I did, I did just that. I've, I've, I, I've, I've read the poem out and I've taken some photographs which kind of show the progress of things in the poem. Well, you can decide if it works or not. I uh, didn't have the technical skills to do it all myself by any means. I could not have done it without the wonderful Ewan Farmer who did all the, all the difficult work of sticking it all, it all together. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoy watching it. And um, I really hope you find something that you would like to do and you get out there and do it. So, thank you very much. Over Hamilton Hill they came. A stream of black kai led by men from the north drawn eastwards by the scent of people's water, goaded back in line to the path I tread. Called Leadgate then, it slid steeply to the tweed that path they trod, where slippery boys, darting in the reeds, stared drought-mouthed at the bearded bear men, bare-kneed and huge, clad in plaid that smelled of cattle belted with knives and muskets, speaking little and strangely. Heading for Egyptian's Glen, for Burke's Cairn, Danger and the Trysts, along the walled path I tread. Along the path I tread to soon up, up the fleecy hill, were once dragged three women, faces white as their hair, guilty of gardening and cats. The path they trod was dread with fear and red as the dawn sky over Venlaw. The roads I walk once burned with the fires of battle and hate. 
The paths I tread drummed with the hum of the water wheel, rattled with the spinning thread, sang with the clatter of clogs on cobbles, rang with the heavy shovels and sweat of the railways, the chatter of carriages, shouts and laughter on holidays and market days, weeping at funerals. Twice each day the piper trod from Biggie's now around the town, framing the day with the tunes he played, calling the cattle out and back, the townsfolk from their beds and home. His feet were shod with the shoes he was paid. The dust of his worn soles settled in cracks, some lies still in sward and sod. I march along to the piper's beat with the crowds who head to fill the bunting streets in June. Each year the same fate, the same tune, the same cornets, courtiers, long hair and shy looks, who raise horses and high heels, declarations, proclamations, recreations, new traditions, old ideals and sticky sweets and beer. Reinvent, recognize and reattest, layer upon layer, before, ahead, a palimpsest, along the paths they trod, along the path I tread. <laughs>